Cowboys, uh, they they may be hitting the ground running for Earl Thomas now that they've told Ha Ha Clinton Dix to hit the road. What what do you think ultimately contributed to the former first round pick of the Green Bay Packers when Mike McCarthy was there as a head coach for McCarthy to come to Dallas and say, "Yeah, oh, we traded you away when I was when I was in Green Bay. Now we're telling you to get out of here now that I'm in Dallas." Yeah, you know, he didn't win the starting job. He was beaten out by Darian Thompson, the former third-round pick of the Giants, who didn't do anything there. And, it, you know, it, it's a strange situation that HaHa ha Clinton Dix couldn't come in and win the starting job, but he didn't do that. And, and so the Cowboys continually have this question at safety as they do a na- uh, do again this year. And, and they had a chance last year to, to fix this situation in the draft. They had a chance when they drafted Tristan Hill in 2019 in the second round. There were all those safeties sitting there. There were Taylor Rapp was sitting there. And, there were three of them. One, Thornhill, was sitting there, and they had a chance to draft one of those safeties who went in the picks right after them, and they didn't do that. They had a chance in a trade. Quandre Jiggs, if you look at what the, the Seahawks gave up for him, they had a chance to make that trade. Or uh, Minka Fitzpatrick, if they didn't, you know, if they wanted to give up the bigger draft comp- uh, compensation to get somebody like that. But they had all these chances to improve their safety position, and they haven't done it. And here they sit. Mike, do you know who their last Pro Bowl safety was? The Cowboys' last Pro Bowl safety. It was so long ago. What, what was it, Charlie Waters? <laughs> I'm saying that jokingly, but <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm you, right. You, yeah. Well, you know who it was? Probably it was Darren Roy Woodson. Williams. And when we th- well, oh, it was yeah. Roy Williams playing with Darren Woodson. And when we, but when we think of Roy Williams, who do we think of? We think of the receiver, Roy Williams, who played for the Cowboys, not the safety, Roy Williams, who played for the Cowboys, but it was Roy Williams. It was that long ago. And they just had this, this question mark at that position for so long, and they haven't addressed it. And I think it was why the Tampa 2 defense under Rod Marinelli never lived up to the expectations that they had because you have to have that safety in that defense. You have to have a John Lynch who, who's wrecking havoc back there, not making the interceptions, but wrecking havoc. Or you have to have somebody like a Charles Tillman in the secondary with the Bears, which is what he had, who's forcing all those turnovers that Charles Tillman forced uh, back in the day. But they didn't have that at corner or safety uh, when he was there, and they moved by. If you remember, they moved Byron Jones all around. They they couldn't decide. Well, is he a safety? Is he a corner? They started him at safety, and then they moved in the corner. Finally, said, "All right, we got to leave you at, at, at cornerback." Um, when Chris Richard came in, but they've just never gotten that safety position right since Roy Williams. And and again, they go into a season with a huge question mark at that position again. Poor Roy Williams couldn't even keep his name on the Roy Williams rule. They (laughs) eventually just called it the horse collar tackle rule. And they originally called it the Roy Williams rule. He was the reason why the horse collar tackle became illegal. He broke Terrell Owens' leg back in 2004, knocked him out of the balance of the regular season, postseason up until the Super Bowl. And he had that great performance, even though the leg was still broken. But yeah, I guess, why are we calling it the Roy Williams rule? Why are we naming it after a receiver? So uh, we just call it the horse collar rule instead. <laughs> Earl Thomas. There, are no, there aren't two Earl Thomases in the NFL. There isn't an Earl Thomas, the receiver, yet. Earl Thomas, the safety, isn't in the NFL. Does the departure of HaHa Clinton Dix open the door for Earl Thomas, or do the Cowboys continue to stay put? Well, I would say absolutely not. And everything I've gotten in response to asking Cowboys officials, are you interested, are you interested, the answer comes back, no, we're not. Uh, but at the same time, there's only one guy we know in that organization that makes decisions, and he has been known to make decisions against what others want in the organization, and that's Jerry Jones. We've seen it repeatedly. So until Jerry Jones says, no, we don't want Earl Thomas, I don't think you take them out of play for Earl Thomas. But I think others in the organization do not want Earl Thomas, but ultimately, is Jerry Jones going to be talked off this ledge, or is he going to go out there and say, we really need Earl Thomas? And the fact that we're closing in on two weeks since the Ravens abruptly cut Earl Thomas continues to provide proof that Thomas isn't regarded by teams as one of the higher-end safeties in the NFL. If he were, he would have been signed as quickly as Leonard Fournette was signed. Fournette, within 24 hours after landing, on the free agency market, had a new team. Earl Thomas still waiting, and I have a feeling he's going to continue waiting, and I agree with you. Even though Jerry Jones likes to keep the door open because I think Jerry Jones just likes to have any 
reason whatsoever for people to be talking about the Cowboys. I don't think the Cowboys are going to make that move, and I don't know who's going to make it. Probably the Patriots. Are probably into, Since they didn't get Leonard Fournette, they'll probably have Earl Thomas and Jadavian Clowney by the time week one rolls around. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.